pretty hard. Um, you know, whenever there's money involved, people are always interested and, and give their best, 110%. So we're all good to go here, Mitch. If you want to take first round, and we are live, ladies and gentlemen, yes. Sure. All right, let's start off with Orcs. Looks like it's going to be a fast A. Uh, fail smoke on double tree there. I showed them the right one. They still did not get it right. Um, one, three and double tree here. They're going to be pushing into the A site here. Two trying to take jail. They're just trying to get a bit of control. Tech takes out top cinema. Really nice from him. He's just watching around, just like I told him. Good man. Um, they're going to get smoke down here on it and uh, put the bomb down. Uh, Imp gets taken out in double tree on the flank, but Bear's going to take out J Swiss on the site. Bear takes out another while getting taken out by Stefano, aka Murdoch. And Murdoch gets two. Nice. Goku taking out one and he's all left in cinema. Orcs are in basins and just under that cinema window, so they've got bit that push locked down. And Orcs are just going to play it, and he jumps down, gets nailed in the face by Tech. Tech and Stefano heroes of that round, but really solid A push there from um, uh, Auxiliary. Yeah, real solid push there from Auxiliary. Uh, got to the A, you know, the, the bomb carrier did go three jails and uh, and got that bomb down really nice, really well executed by Auxiliary as well. Let's watch their uh, second round here. Looks like it's going to be another A as well. Very solid A. There's a lot of Nays flying everywhere. Uh, Jesus now just heading over to the uh, the basins there, just spamming away at the end. Jail does spot someone, takes out Bear. Bomb is coming down by Eshmo, the bomb carrier. Again, he does spot someone up in the cinema. He sprays the cinema. He doesn't get a kill though, and there's more shots being fired. They do know that there's one up in cinema from Impervious. Aneurysm takes that unnerved. They do spot one in uh, in the S Bend there. Hawk takes out Stefano. Jizz takes out Jesus. Tech takes out Goku. Eshmo takes out Jizz. And Imp are left with one against three auxiliary. The bomb is down. They just gotta take it slow now. Hawk does take out Eshmo. He's been spotted inside Medic. Tech spamming it. He gets CI'd and he gets taken out. One on one. Aneurysm. Let's see if he can defend the bomb and uh, and win another round for auxiliary. He's up in top cinema here. Hawk is heading up to the bomb. Hasn't spotted each other yet. They're sort of just here comes a fake D plant by Hawk. He's looking out to rubble near the bus. He's going for the real defuse now and gets taken out by aneurysm. Very nicely played there. Over to you, Mitch. Oh, let's sign on. What's the rounds? You keen, mate? No, I'm right. I'm just trying to make sure I settle in. You guys go for it for now. Thanks. No worries, Jeez, mate. Alright, I want to see how I'm defending here, giving the Orcs a little bit too much attention. Uh, looks like one inside B site. They're going to play uh, one Cinema, one s -Ben, one Jail, and uh, one YB. So pretty standard stuff here from uh, Imp, and they're really stacking towards that A site because that's what Orcs have been really aggressive on uh, in the last couple of rounds. So good work from them. Dino's going to open up on Bear. Tech's going to take down Hawk, but shots coming out from s -Ben. Tech takes out Top Cinema, but Jizz takes out one from s -Ben on the side. Two left here for Imp. One in Cinema, one in uh, Double Tree, so they're going to try and take it. Uh, Jay Switz getting the bomb down here. It's a real plant. Goku's going to take out Tech, and Annie's going to take out Goku in Top Cinema. It's all on Jizz. He's in Double Tree. Linus is three. Can he do it? Bombs down. I'd, reckon, I'd probably say about 38 seconds, 37 seconds are left on that. So he's going to make something happen. He's got about 10 seconds to kill each person. And he's in double tri uh, basins. Not really giving away position. One in gay corner. He takes him out. Good aim there. Stefano's in jail. Aneurysm's top A. And Stefano's going to revenge kill his uh, fallen teammate to bring the round back for his auxiliary. Yeah, Auxiliary's starting off aggressive here. They have gone three very strong A pushes. Uh, we did follow Imp defense, so that's pretty normal. Let's follow Auxiliary again. We do like to follow the attacking team, just to see where the bomb's going. Eshmo once again with that bomb, heading through now, just throwing a smoke and a nade over. Uh, switch over to Impervious. What have they done? They're still the same here. A lot of nades flying over. They have gone three B this time, though. Picking an A. Unnerfed takes out Stefano in long jails there. And um, it's uh, left with uh, four for Auxiliary at the moment. Taking a little bit slow now, and unnerved spot up in top cinema. He's throwing a nade over to Basins. Let's switch over to Auxiliary. They are still pushing over to that A side, as we see Tech here just in the middle, just checking out Intake, and uh, and Yellow just under Intake. Unnerved takes out Aneurysm, and Auxiliary are left with three. Eshmo, Jesus, Tech. Let's see if they can pull off some magic here and get another round for Auxiliary. They have started off very strong. A lot of shots being fired. I think Imp are starting to rotate over now. They do know it's going to be an A push. Jizz just in the middle here, looking at two trees, and Basins not doing too much. Hawks on the bus over at Rubble. Eshmo does have the bomb. He's rotated back in. Oh, he gets taken out uh, just near spawn there by Jizz. Tech takes Jizz out, and Impervious are left with four against two, uh, two auxiliary. And let's move over here. Um, Goku is up in intake here, and just let me turn this TV down. I do apologise. 
And uh, Tech picked up the bomb from Spawn though, and there's two auxiliary up. They are heading over near uh, near the back of Medic there, looking like they're doing a rotate over to B here. Jesus giving a little bit of cover. They're going to have to hustle here because the timer is running out. Tech's getting spammed at. He has been spotted up in top cinema. Jesus heads up there to try to take out, and he does take out a Nefer, and it's three up. Now Jesus is trying to clear out A here. They have decided to go A as time is short. Bomb is coming down. Jesus is just checking outside of the rubble there. He does spot someone. He's going to give a couple of cover spams there. And he's headed into, into, uh, into SBAM, but he gets taken out by Hawk. And the bomb is down. Bear, Hawk, Goku versus Tech. Let's see if Tech can get a good solid defense. Takes out Goku, but Hawk takes him out under there. And the round is going to go to uh, Impervious, making it 3-1. Yeah, Impervious probably knew that round just as a settler to give himself some confidence. Auxiliary those first three rounds. Very, very, very strong. For sure, good to see him fight up. We might have a game here rather than just a roll fest. Looks like Orcs are for a bit of a split and pick. Two towards YB, two into jail, and uh, one on uh, double tree, so they can try and get picks all over the map. Um, Jasis is going to get take out the Hangman Defender, so that's a really good start here for Auxiliary. Let's see if they uh, change their plan dependent on that happening. Doesn't look like it, like they're still playing slow. Goku's going to take out J-Swiss up in uh, that top intake, and he's wide B, and he's uh, he's got Goku to deal with over there. Shots going out as A as well on A as well. Hawk and Goku in the wide B trying to take out Annie. Meanwhile. Two in A here, and uh, the double tree guy's going to go basins, and he gets taken out in YB by getting double team. Bear's going to take you out two on A, completely stopping the auxiliary push. Apologies for clattering in the background. Uh, one versus four here. Jamie. He's got the bomb, and he's got it all to do. Let's see where Impa are at, right? They got uh, one cinema, and uh, one wide B on that well, one double tree and one on the cornerstone. So they're all over the map right now waiting for Eshmo to make a move. He sees one in double tree and it's taken out in yellow room. Really nice there for him. They, uh, they've completely adapted to this fast A pushing. Yeah, we'll probably see Imp, uh, like you said, adapting here. They're going to probably take out a few extra rounds here on defense. Like I said, you know, if you agree with me, Mitch, I think Hanoi is probably more of a defense map, really. As we look at the uh, impervious defense here, everything looks a bit normal. One wide B, one inside B, one mid, as we see Hawk take out Tech. Um, they got one over at uh, Long Jails and another one heading through mid. Now Stefano takes out Hawk, so it's a 4v4. It looks like they're going uh, going wide B here, and the comm has been made. Impervious are doing the switch over. Let's move over to Auxiliary. Eshmo inside B. Stefano takes out Jizz, and Impervious are left with three. Goku takes out Aneurysm, so it's 3v3. Bomb is coming down. Jesus takes out Goku. Bear replies and takes out Stefano, so it's 2v2 at the moment. Bomb is down. They're both inside B. Smoke there, and Eshmo is out at YB. He does spot someone, and the guy repokes. It's Bear. He takes out Eshmo, and Jesus is left up by himself at the moment. He does take a few spares, does take out Bear, and he's left. Unnef at the moment. One-on-one -on -one situation. Must have been a fake, and Unnef takes him out. And Probably the bomb is getting defused. Poked. Another round to Imp. I think he was better off then jumping up through the window and having a bit of a look rather than that, because at least he could add an escape route. That was probably a silly move, but... Um, Imp coming back and now 3v3. So well done to Imp. Sorry, um, didn't realize it was my round, but now I'm good. Uh, looks like another fast day here. Three in double tree, uh, two towards, uh, the jails, and they got their bomb there, so, uh, Gonna be quite a lot of action over here on this A side. Shots going on from both teams. No one really getting down uh, very early. Meanwhile, in on Imp's side, uh, they got rotates coming through Hangman towards bus side. Uh, so almost all of their players are over on that A side. Bombs going down. Death's taken out. Bear's gonna take out a day switch as well. Goku's gonna take out another on the A side. So that that uh, push is completely halted, and uh, the bombs dropped on the A side. One in rubble. Stefano's gonna take out Bear. Bringing it to a 2v4. Tech's gonna take out Jiz in the S band. It's getting a little too eager here for Impervious. Um, shots coming out on top cinema. Neff is gonna get tagged up. 2 versus 3 right now. It's gonna bring it to a 1 versus 3 here for Stefano. He's behind the enemy team. Gonna look at the 1 in top cinema. Does take him out. Good reaction there. 1 versus 2. Bombs dropped on A site. And only 40 seconds to go here for Stefano. So. See how he plays this. There's in top cinema and one in hangman and hangman guy sees him. Gets a little bit too eager there and Stefano's gonna unpoke and repoke him. They're both tagging each other up but nobody's really gone for it. 
Um, so he gets shooed away. He's going to go back towards Bus, and Goku's ready for him on that A site. But he's going to run and give his position away and push into the jail. Stefano knows he's going to fake plant, but Goku outpeaks him and uh, brings it to a four to three. Four rounds in a row for Impervious, looking strong. Yeah, certainly looking strong. It looks like Impervious has adapted, and uh, they're getting the, the thing is they're uh, they're actually getting their rotates very quickly. So I think Auxiliary did do a couple of strong A pushes um, and tried to do a, 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 a B push, but uh, was spotted very quickly by Impervious. As we see, a lot of nays getting thrown now. Tech has his mate has made his way through to mid here in two trees. Does spot someone up in intake from the Impervious team. Jesus is spamming at someone frantically and takes out Jizz. Hawk takes out Stefano. Bear takes out Eshmo, and Tech replies by taking out. So it's 3v2 at the moment, and Nef takes out Aneurysm, and the bomb is down in jails, and Jesus has been spotted. Tech is in mid at the moment as Jesus is heading up to Cinema. He's going to take it really slow and and uh, and then uh, hopefully take someone out up in Cinema if there is anyone up there. And we'll move over to the Impervious now. Nope, no good enough. Unnef takes out G uh, Jesus, and it's three left. Bear, Unnef, and Goku versus Tech. Let's see if Tech can do anything. Where is he? He is over at Hangman, and he's about to head into the little s been there underneath the cinema and uh and, and hopefully grab the bomb which is in medic he does hear a gun getting picked up up in top cinema he's just going to take it slow checking out rubble nope heading back towards hangman what's he doing here probably just going to jump up now no, not nothing yep he is jumping up into top cinema and gets taken out there unfortunate it's 5-3 in favor of impervious really strong well like i said auxiliary pulled out those first three rounds and looked pretty pretty strong impervious have now put on five in a row your thoughts, Mitch? I think um, Auxiliary, they, they're trying to push a site, and um, when they were pushing towards A, they had three watching double tree. You only really need one guy, and they weren't really committing to the site. If you're going to be a rush, you know, you've got to commit everything and get all of your people down, down there, in there, on that site. And especially on this map, it's really easy to hold the flank from just one guy sitting in double tree. Uh, meanwhile, shots going out. It uh, looks like Orcs are getting uh, slapped around a little bit by Impervious, but they do get uh, two back for their sakes. Two versus three, but Impervious look like they're in better positions. One over on the A site in jail, and uh, two over on B and Hangman. Uh, let's see what Orcs are going to do here. The bombs dropped it well. They got one on Guillotine in YB, and uh, Stefano's looking to go pick up the bombs. So let's see if they uh, try to rotate or going to push in on that B site. Goku's 100% ready sitting in this B site here, so... This could go badly. Tech's just around the corner. We're going to see a gunfight here. He sees him. Oh, that was lucky for Tech. Uh, Goku got a bit surprised there, and Tech runs straight past this ADS. The action wasn't good enough. Jizz just outside the window here. Let's see if they fake plant. They really should, but it's going to be a real. Does Tech have the window? Yes, he does. He hears the jump in the window, but he wasn't covering his teammates. The violence going to go down. Bomb drop. One versus two. Both of the impervious players are in Hangman. Bear's going to poke after that flash. He sees the guy in the corner and takes him out. Beautiful work there from impervious. A bit of a silly mistake from Orcs. They didn't need to get that bomb plant down. Um, two guns are better than one. Simply. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, it should have been probably a, uh, a fake there, just to see if anyone's around a the corner. They didn't actually spot anyone near the bomb site. Bear was rotating, um, and unfortunately, they didn't actually go for the defuse. Uh, sorry, they didn't go for the fake plant. As we look at uh, Impervious Defense here, it hasn't really changed that much. They have called for an A, though, as we see Goku and... Um, and uh, um, Hawk rotating over to the A site. They're both in mid hangman now. Takes out tap, uh, Tech takes out Bear. Eshmo takes out Unnef. Jiz replies. Takes out Esmo. Stefano takes out Goku. And uh, Impervious are left with two. The bomb has gone down up against four auxiliary. Aneurysm, Stefano, Jesus, and Tech. So it's going to be pretty hard. They did get the bomb down pretty quick. Solid play by auxiliary. And let's see if uh, if Hawk and Jiz can pull off magic here and take out all four auxiliary guys and defuse. Let's see where the Ox guys are. They have every single corner uh, covered as Jesus takes out Hawk here and Jiz is up by himself. He takes out Jesus, but he gets taken down by Annie. Uh, very nice work there. And uh, as we see, 6-4 now in favour of Impervious with auxiliary taking out the last round. You look, Auxiliary really, really needed that round, and we're going to pick it up here with Auxiliary pushing this A site again. Jesus gets heavily flashed. A few people up on this B bomb site. Tags going out. Eshmo takes down Nerf first. Stefano onto Bearson and Jizz onto Tech. So 3v2 here. 3v3 with Jizz taking down Jesus. Guku coming up behind at this bus onto the 
a bomb site and bomb is bomb is planted so we got two up here now for auxiliary Eshmo and Stefano three up four impervious easy pick there for Guku top cinema with Eshmo couldn't doesn't generally get much easier than that only one up here which is Stefano can he spoil their plans pops out through jail a few shots onto that B bomb but he's held back and that bomb should get defused no Gugu takes down Safano and Jizz onto Gugu. So that is all down in Jizz. Last man up will get the defuse for Impervious, pulling it out to a 7 versus 4. Uh, so a great start here and a great, um, the last few rounds, all great from Impervious, Marvel. Yeah, look, uh, yeah, that was fantastic from Impervious, and I think Jizz uh, wanted to take Goku out there so he can defuse the bomb. Goku is leading the, uh, the scoreboard for Impervious at the moment. Uh, let's have a look at Pervis defense. Still the same, nothing different. Very standard defense that a lot of teams use. Uh, so let's switch over to auxiliary here. Looks like they're, uh, they've certainly slowed things up a little bit now. Not rushing into that jail or medic area. A lot of shots being fired. No one's down as yet. Unnef takes out Jesus in the, uh, in the taps or sinks area there, basins, however you want to call it. Goku is, Goku is at rubbles as Unnef takes out Eshmo. They do have two, uh, they're rotating over to A now. So Impervious have three over at A as we see Jizz take out Aneurysm. Stefano and Tech, the only two up for Eclipse here or Auxiliary. Let's see if they can do it. Stefano takes out Bear, but Jizz replies and takes out Tech. Stefano finding himself up again by himself. A lot of shots being fired. He has been spotted. Let's see where he is. He is in jails and medic, and he's looking towards the basin, and he has been calmed out. So he's going to have to move here and do something. That guy up in cinema has spotted him. Takes a few shots. No one gets any tags. And uh, he's last up against four, uh, four strong impervious players. So let's see if Tavano can pull off some magic. He does spot one out of rubble. Doesn't really get the kill though. He gets his pipe and now gets a kill on Goku. Unfortunate there, Goku. Uh, probably lagging or something. And um, Stefano gets flashed inside jails though. But he does survive. He spots someone over at uh, at under S Pen there, but gets taken out. So eight four now to Impervious. Certainly pulling away. Yeah, getting that first map in in a in a best of three is pretty critical because that way second map it's either a win for you or a second chance. So you want this first map in Impervious are doing just that. Impervious rolling it out here. Three, or should I say two towards A. Uh, Guku, the good shot on um, Aneurysm, gets the first blood. Bearson onto Stefano. So a bit of a split defense here. Players everywhere. Uh, Bearson comes up in jail. Does spot someone up there. End up flashing himself though. A few tags. Takes down Eshmo with ease. And everyone's all around this A bomb site. Bearson again takes down Tech and Jesus onto Guku. So 4v1, and it's just poor little uh, Jesus up here stuck on this B bomb site. He's in quite a vulnerable position, and he's got four to beat. So I don't like his chances here, but he is keeping quiet and just trying to avoid trouble. Unfortunately, he couldn't avoid it. And Imp pull away here, 9 to 5. So one more before the half here. Though, like you said, Marvel, this map is generally a bit more defensive. Uh, buyer, so auxiliary shouldn't go into uh, the second half too worried. Yeah, hopefully not. And uh, sorry, just a correction, it's 9 4 for our viewers, not 9 5. Um, but uh, yeah, Adnef takes out Bear there and uh, throwing, uh, playing catchems at the moment. Um, and uh, Impervious are left with four. The bomb is coming down. It's a very strong A push once again by Auxiliary as uh, as Adnef gets a nice kill on, on Aneurysm there. And uh, Eshmo is heading in. He does spot someone and he does not take him out. Adnef takes out Jesus and Jizz takes out Eshmo. There's only two ups to Fano and Tech for the Auxiliary team. Again, Against four impervious guys. Goku gets heavily tagged up there but does survive. No, he does die now. And Stefano takes out Gizmo. So that's two team kills for, for the impervious team uh, this round. So that's going to cost them if they do lose the round. Stefano is last up and he's, he is in jails. And he has been spotted by the impervious guys. So Unnef and Hawk at the moment up. Stefano takes a few tags there but does survive. He jumps out across and he's like Spider-Man here. He does take out Hawk. He's got this. Yeah, he certainly got this. Oh, no, he no, doesn't. Unnef oh. takes Stefano out. No, no, he does. Very nice there. Just wasting a bit of time. And uh, Impervious, unfortunately, didn't have any time to defuse. So 9-5 now in favour of Impervious. Yes. And did I get kicked? I did. And that's the first half as well, so a good first half. Uh, correction, no, it's around before the oh, half. It's 9-5 a... at the moment. 9-5. I, I had to I'm wait like... too long. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to way too long now. I'm all thrown out here. But I'm looking at Guku here into this uh, B bomb site. He's been doing this all ga all uh, round so far. Now rotating over to the A1. Eshmo takes down Bearson. Mitch has reconnected here. Bit of friendly fire nearly there with uh, Tech onto Aneurysm. But they managed to get the bomb down. Bomb is down. Stefano takes down Nerfa. So they're looking good to win this round. They've got four up and Bomb is down. So this one's theirs for the taking. They just takes down Jesus. And everyone's moving in here. Great shot. No, bad luck. Guku gets taken out by Stefano. I thought he had it then. Hawk takes down Stefano. So 2v1. It's all up to Hawk. What can he do against the uh, Tech and Eshmo? Tech giving away his position. It didn't actually work in his favour. Hawk takes him down. Going in for the fake. Eshmo should know that, but he has fallen for it and given away his position here. This time, Hawk's going in for the real defuse. Couldn't actually do it, so that is six to nine. So good recovery then from Auxiliary. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a bit premature before, but now we are switching sides. This is the real one. The last one was just a bit of a test to make sure it worked. <laughs> so 9-6, let's, uh, looks like the teams are readying up pretty quick, so let's go through the scoreboard here. Uh, we've got Auxiliary who are on 6 rounds, Stefano leading the scoreboard 18-12, Tech on 13-13, Eshmo 6-14, Jesus 9-15, Aneurysm 3-12. How does the Impervious scoreboard look there, Mitch? Um, I'm, I'm just glad Mav's on top. Me and uh, Stefano, Medoc, he's in my uh, COD 14, and yeah, I'm really, really happy that he's having a good game this game. Um, in terms of how I think it's going, I think pretty standard Hanoi. Um, Imper I think it's pretty balanced, but Impervious have really, they've been playing really strong, and they've had pretty good rotates. Um, their retakes have been really hard to hold off. Auxiliary, when they do hold it, it's good. And uh, in, uh, every now and then, the they were pressuring mid, which was good because uh, it um, forced Auxiliary to have like extra people watching mid and that kind of thing. Like They have three people in double tree at some points instead of pushing the ace. So uh, rolling in tough, I don't, if you don't mind, I'll take the first round. Yeah, knock yourself out. I want to see, wanna see where Imp are going. Looks like fast A's. Uh, this is always what happens. I don't know why, but like whenever you see... One team doing really well with a strat, the other team, as soon as they switch sides, is straight into that strat. Um, let's see how Orcs holds this off. Eshmo is going to pick us up with Jay, or he's going to take out Hawk, but uh, Bear's going to reply onto him. It's four versus four here, Imp all over this site. Goku's going to take out Tech, and uh, it's uh, Orcs are at a bit of a disadvantage. They're all defending from uh, Cinema and uh, S Bend, it looks like. Jay Swiss is going to take out Bear. Stefano onto Goku, so looking a lot better here for Orcs. Bombs down on A. Um, Imp have one at rubble here. They can hear one rushing. He's probably going to get him. Takes one out. Two versus two here. Stefano and Aneurysm in cinema. Imp uh, are both in s and, and rubble uh, around that A-bomb. So be interested to see how this plays out. Aneurysm really should be getting in a better spot um, rather than stacking both in cinema. I mean, it's going to be hard for them to uh, retake the site from both one... In from both being in one spot unless they push uh, basins and uh, the window at the same time. They're both just holding around here, nothing really happening here. Oh wow, I got I got the latest poke in all of uh, Southeastern Zimbabwe. Uh, that side poked me like 10 minutes ago and uh, it came to me just then as Jizz takes out Stefano. Two versus one, Orcs' TS has died. Aneurysm tag got one in s -Bend. Let's see where MR, one in uh, Long Jail uh, going to medical and one in the corner next to the bomb. Annie knows that uh, there's one in jail. Can he find the other player just to his right in the corner? Nope. Really solid spot there from... Uh, yeah, that was one of the in players. Did you say... Yeah, so we're looking at... Uh... Sorry, Mark. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. No, that's okay. Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, Auxiliary's uh, team speak uh, did die half round. It is back up now, so that probably cost them the round. Let's look at 10-6 now. It looks like another strong A push by Impervious. And um, there's a bomb carrier, Impervious, here. Let's move over. Unnef is carrying the bomb, and a lot of shots being fired. Does throw an A. He gets flashed, though, 
And is he going to take it out? He does take out one of his own team. He's like, Bear, there you are. See you later. And Hawk says, hey, don't hey, so kill Bear. Kills. And he kills Unnef. So two TKs here as Eshmo takes out Hawk and Jizz takes out Tech. It's 4v2 now, looking pretty good for the auxiliary team. Lots of team kills on the impervious side there. I think that flash really got to Unnef. And he said, hey, who are you? Oh, bang. Shot. Oh, shit. That was, uh, that was Bear. So um, Goku takes a little bit of a tag here. And he does... Uh, he doesn't die though, and Jiz takes out Eshmo as Stefano takes out Goku. So it's uh, one up Jiz at the moment. Let's see what he's up to. Jiz is actually about to head up into cinema. He is up against three auxiliary aneurysm, Stefano and Jesus. So uh, Jiz got to slow it down a little bit here so he doesn't get spotted and come down and swarmed. And he does spot Stefano and gets uh, and, and uh, gets a kill, but he gets taken out by uh, Jesus, I think that was. So 10 7 now in favor of uh, in favor of Impervious. Yeah, and just want to say, the, those team kills are starting to cost him a few rounds, a couple of silly rounds, and we say good evening as well to uh, Maverick. Good evening, Maverick. Hey, mate, how you doing? Good, and I just want to say, I did offer both teams to join our TeamSpeak tonight so we could listen to the comms, and they didn't want to, and I know our TeamSpeak server does not crash under any circumstance. Mitch? Strong round from here. Two up for Orcs, uh... It's getting a bit awkward for them. Anya isn't going to take out Goku, however. And uh, let's see where Imbang looks like a rotate towards B, and they got one in that um, in that uh, double tree area. Sorry, I'm struggling to find him there. Orcs. Annie's going to bring this round back, though. He gets two frags, and uh, his mate's in S band here, so it's a two versus two situation. One in B side. Jeez, is in the perfect spot to kill both of the Orcs rotators, and they have no idea he's there. Bomb goes down on B, one in Hangman. Um, Jesus is biding his time, takes out one, and he's just above him, and he knows it. And he's going to take out one. They know where each other are. Gun got it. Oh, Jizz takes him out. Jizz too strong. That was really smart from him. MVP of that round right there. If you're a warmed up, uh, Maverick, you're more than welcome to take a round if you wish. Ah, oh, it's all right. I'll let Marvel and uh, is this first map? Is it? Yeah, it is first yeah. map. It took it only took an hour to start. Isn't that right? Uh, we'll Mav let uh, uh, Marvel, Marvel and Mitch to finish it off then, eh? Yeah, no worries. And we welcome Maverick to the, uh, the team speak here as he's going to join us for the shoutcast. It's five up. A lot of shots being fired. A lot of nades getting thrown. No one's taken out yet. Ah, there we go. Tech's going large. He gets two frags. Takes out Bear and Jizz, the two strongest players of Impervious. They're left with Unnef, Hawk, and Goku now. As uh, as we have a look here, and Goku does hear someone travelling back through spawn. He takes a shot. Doesn't kill him, but Stefano takes him out and says, hey, don't shoot my teammate. And Impervious are left with two. Unnef and Hawk here. Tech does hear movement outside YB as he's defending it. Gets a flash thrown inside, nothing happens. Let's have a look to see where Impervious are at. They've got one at the back Jeep uh, over on the B side there, Hawk. And um, Unnef with the bomb here, and he gets taken out by Chisuis. So Hawk is up left by himself at the moment against five auxiliary. I don't think he's going to be able to do it, but don't hold your breath just yet, guys. And because um, uh, Hawk does, uh, does pull off some nice frags here. He's got the 74U. He does spot someone. He's not going to fire. It is pretty far out. He does get spotted underneath Hangman by one of the auxiliary guys and gets taken out. 11-8 now in favor of uh, Impervious. Yeah, man. Oh, I've got this shit on lock. They've completely, like, their the rotates are really, really solid here, and Tech just rolled out at YB, um, taking out two, and then he just fell back and, um, and just, uh, waited it out. Looks like a fast, uh, it looks like a split, actually, here from Impervious. They're gonna dew it out and, uh, wait for the other team to, uh, maybe push up a bit. Shots going out in jail. Eshmo gets the better of four. Five versus four here for, um, Impervious on the disadvantage, my bad. Terrible choice of words. One in Basins, two in Basins. Eshmo doesn't get both of them, and uh, Goku's going to take him out for his trouble. Four versus three in favor of uh, Auxiliary um, Defense. They got two in Hangman and uh, two in Cinema, so they're, they're all keen on the stacking. And uh, Neff is going to take shots at Tech from Double Tree Gate and going to get taken out. Aneurysm with a sick poke onto Bear in the medical room. One up, shot's going to go out in top A, and I think Stefano got the last one in top A. I think Orcs have this on lock. There's, they're just, their defense is a solid rock. They got this all worked out. Yeah, certainly. I think uh, Auxiliary is going to go pretty large here on defense. Let's uh, go through the uh, impervious scoreboard because we did miss that during halftime. Jiz is on 22-14. Goku second, 17-15. Bear is struggling a little bit at the moment, 15-13. And Hawk on 14-15. And Unnef on 12-all. And... Uh, 
We're just having a look at Goku now. Stefano takes out Bear, Hawk takes out Eshmo, and Jizz takes out Stefano. So it's three left for the Ogs guys against four from Impervious. And uh, Goku's just in the basins here. He hasn't got the bomb. Who has the bomb? Aneurysm takes out Unnef, and Jizz takes out Aneurysm. So only two up, just Suis and Tech for, uh, for Auxiliary here. The bomb is down. And um, Goku is just up in top center at the moment, picks up the MP5K and jumps back down to mid. So Impervious have picked up the bomb. It looks like they're going to go A because they think they have it locked down. Let's have a look to see where the auxiliary guys are. There they are over A. One is over at Hangman and the other in the S Bend. As Goku does hear um, Jesus popping around the corner there and takes him out. So only one up tech. Let's see what he can do. Let's follow him at the moment because the bomb is down. And he throws a smoke over into A. He is in S Bend. He's got an AK 47. Runs out and Hopefully the smoke can cover him. It does. Makes a bit of noise here, and I think Jizz can hear him. They're actually right next to each other, and, and, <laughs> and Jizz doesn't actually spot Tech. Tech shoots him in the bum and takes him out. Only two up, Hawk and Goku. Let's see what they can do. They're all over um, all over A at the moment. Goku is up in top cinema, and Hawk is over by the rubble near the bus. Uh, what does Tech do here? He does hear someone up in cinema, I think. He's going to throw a uh, nade up there, and he takes out Hawk, and he's going to... Go for the oh, issues, and he takes out Goku with the Python. Nice round there by Tech. No, and he clutches it for uh, no, auxiliary. Impervious lost that no, one. No, he takes it out with a knife. Imper oh, silly mistakes there from Impervious. They shouldn't have poked. Oh, I mean, the guy at Rubble, no need to poke and shoot his gun off. All he did was give away his position. So then Tech knew where both of them was, outplayed him, and good, um, good round. He ended up winning it or got given it. Yeah, somewhat, but I think I think Impervious, maybe they could have been a bit smarter about it, but, um, you know, the time was running down, and anything to delay him from getting the bomb, which was what ended up happening, and Imp took the round. Uh, it looks like Imp's pushing up hard on this A, and Cinema mid especially. Um, they're all over Jail and Cinema and mid. Uh, Bear's going to take out one, and he's going to get one back. Hook's going to get one. That brings us to uh, 2v3, all even, as Hulk gets Eshmoe. Uh, orcs all up in this hangman area and cinema, whereas uh, Imp are all uh, two in double tree and one in jail. Not really sure where they want to go yet. They're just sizing up the opposition, trying to find out a little bit more information before they make their decision. Which site they want to attack. Shots coming out from uh, basins into top cinema, doesn't get any tags, however. Bomb sitting in double tree, so he's still not really sure. Looks like Bomb's going towards wide B, so Imp are going to B. See if folks are reacting to this. They got people in Hangman. If anybody touches that double tree area, he's going to get shot in the face. He's just about to walk into some crosshairs of an enemy player. No, he runs away to rotate into the B site, and they know that now, so they've got the mid push here. Um, however, he's in mid, and he takes out Jizz. Really nice play there. He actually... Not intentionally, but he did bait um, Jizz into pushing into Hangman there. Three versus two, and they know exactly where Imp are right now. However, Hawk is in Hangman. Takes out one. Shot's going out inside the site. Hawk's going to take out Jace with... And another one in Cinema. Hawk with the three down. Jesus Christ. That was huge. Yeah, that was a very good round there. So, uh... Looking at 13-9 here in favor of Impervious, and I got carried away. I guess I just want Auxiliary to win and uh, and uh, and support the boys there. I thought we had that round, but uh, anyway, let's move on. 13-9 we're looking at here, and I'll just I'll tab out of Black Ops, hopefully I don't get kicked. But we're looking at a uh, another A push here by Impervious, I believe, and. Um, Bear actually takes out Eshmo now, both using the MP5K, I believe, and both very aggressive players. Loves to rush. Um, and Gizmo takes out Tech, so, and he takes out uh, Aneurysm as well. So before we know it, guys, we've got uh, Auxiliary with two up, Stefano and Jesus, versus five Impervious as Stefano takes out Goku. Let's have a look at the bomb carry here. Hawk looks like his CI, so we're going to move on from him. Stefano takes out Unnef. Bear kills Jesus, and Stefano going large. Three kills so far, takes out Jizz. And the bomb is down, so Stefano is going to have to pull off some magic here against Bear and Hawk. He does Hawk is uh, dying. No, he's back. Sorry. Ah, he's back now. Yeah, it looks like he's got a little bit of uh, jizz problems, uh, Hawk. Um, but Stefano here, just up in top cinema, he did see someone, and he gets taken by Bear. So 14-9 now, and uh, Impervious are leading by five rounds. Let's see if Auxiliary can really bring it back on defense. Certainly got um, one of Impervious' strongest maps here, Hanoi. So, uh, and they certainly play this one a lot and strat it a lot. Um, but uh, over to you, Mitch, if you're there. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't even realise it was my round. My my brother's playing Heroes of Might and Magic right next to me. I'm watching him. 
4v4 here, Drones going out for either team, Imp are all over this A site, one pushing up the back of Cinema, one pushing up the front of Cinema, they got this thing, Stefano goes down from Orcs, and Aneurysm goes down, so they've cleared Cinema, that was really nice there from Imp, they've got Cinema control, they've got two people on the site, they've got this round in the bag, Gaysmith's going to take out one, however, and Tech's going to take out another, and taken out by Imp, they had two people sacked on top of each other, so as soon as Orcs went to those kills, Revenge Frags rolled out, and uh, Orcs take, um, Imp take the round. Jeez. Imp only need the one more here, Marvel, and they should get it probably this round with the way they've been playing. Yeah, 15-9 here. All right, one more round. Uh, let's see if Impervious can do it as they go for another A push. As Jizz takes out Jesus, Aneurysm replies and takes Jizz out though. So it's 4v4. No, Bear takes out Eshmo. And uh, Auxiliary are left with three. So maybe the momentum from Impervious is a bit too strong here. And it looks like they will take out the first map. A lot of shots being fired. Let's move over to the Auxiliary guys and see what they're doing. Tech is totally flash and I have no... Okay, yep. Just looking at Stefano is back on rubble. Um, does hear the plant coming down. Let's see, it is a real plant. Aneurysm takes out Goku, and Anef is spamming frantically at the cinema there, and he sees another one. Stefano takes out Bear. It's 3v2. Hawk gets, gets taken out by Stefano again, certainly doing really well for the auxiliary team. And Anef is now just moved back into the water area behind Medic. He does spam at someone, doesn't get the kill, though. Uh, gets out his python, though, and takes out Stefano. He is tagged up, though. So Tech and Aneurysm knows where he is. And uh, the bomb gets fused. So 15 10. Um, over to you, Mitch. Stefano is playing so well, hero of the Orcs team. Hopefully, uh, I've got my fingers crossed for a combat train, but this five round disadvantage, I don't know. See what Imp are going to do. Uh, the, the, uh, they're the baddies in my eyes. Uh, two pushing up in the double tree, uh, and uh, three into wide B, one in intake. Bombs plant. Looks like slow B slash mid push, and he's going to take out Goku. Someone just messaged me. No, I did not mean baddies as in bad players. Uh, two up for Imp here. So they're pushed and destroyed by Auxiliary. Uh, they're both in YB. Let's see where Orcs are at. Two in Hangman, one in Top Cinema. They're not really defending this beast site. It, there's a bit of an opening, um, although Exmo, Eshmo is on that um, box. Looks like Nefer and uh, Jizz are in YB. Looks like they're sizing up the truck, looking for a bit of a push, maybe. I don't know if they're going to risk the bomb, though. They're kind of waiting for Orcs to push them, but Orcs, Orcs know I was talking to them before. They're like, imp they, they they play very, very patiently, so we don't want to waste any rounds and push them un, un, uh, unnecessarily. Looks like Nefer is in control of the truck. He's just sizing up Hangman a little bit with the bomb here. Uh, Jizz is right next to him. They're holding hands. They're in it together to the end. Shmo's going to take out Jizz, and it's one versus three here for Nefer. He has the bomb, um, and looks like Orcs is in Hangman and Cinema. Nefer's going to take out Stefano, but Annie and uh, Eshma are in really good spots. Imp, uh, Nefer's going to take shots at the box guy from bus, because he's gone all the way around to A. I don't know about this. Ooh, he's fake towards the bus, and he's going back to B again. So double fake, bomb change, sight, 360 Claymore shot. And uh, we didn't have enough time to really do anything except uh, run in and get shot in the face. So another round of auxiliary, choo choo perhaps. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Look, auxiliary bring you back now. It's 15-11 uh, in favour of Impervious, so hopefully Auxiliary can bring this to overtime um, and, and really prove to Impervious that, hey, look, we can play Hanoi too, boys. But a uh, big shout-out for Brad Coulter, which is Mutt Dog from Impervious. Hello there, Mutt Dog. Thanks for spamming me. And uh, let's have a look at the Auxiliary uh, defence here. Very similar to the Impervious defence. they got one wide B. They don't have anyone in B, though, but he's over at Hangman. They've got one Cinema. They've got one over at Jails, and uh, and they won't have one over by um, by the bus there at the back of Rubble. Goku takes out Aneurysm, though, so Eshmo is moving up to Cinema to hopefully cover that. The bomb is coming down, and let's have a look at the Impervious team. They've got five up against Auxiliary's four. The bomb is down, so making it tougher now for Auxiliary as Tech takes out Unnef. Uh, 
it was in Basins from um, from S Ben. Goku takes that Eshma and Hawks takes that Jesus. So only Stefano and Tech up here. A bit of work for these two. Um, Stefano takes that Jiz though. So Bear, Hawk, and Goku up for the Impervious team with the bomb down. Goku takes that Stefano and Tech takes out Bear. Uh, Tech takes out Bear, sorry. So uh, Tech, let's see what he's up to at the moment. He's in S Bend and he's slowly moving on to the A bomb. He doesn't really know where the Impervious guys are. They have one up in Top Cinema and they have one over near the basins there. So Tech's gone for the fake defuse, but he gets taken out. So 16 11 there. GG's roll out and Impervious wins the first map on Hanoi of the CGA semi finals. Very sad day here for uh, Auxiliary, however, they still have two more maps to prove themselves, and I'm hoping that it will be. Um, judging from previous veto, I'm calling a Villa, and I really think that that might favour Auxiliary. They have a pretty strong scope, uh, slash Mossen, in the, fa in the form of Annie, and uh, and uh, I reckon I reckon they could pull um, pull that map, perhaps. Yeah, no doubt. Um, you are probably right there, Mitch. It looks like um, once the videos go out, judging from the first time we did the video before Hanoi, it looks like Villa will probably be the most logical choice. And yes, it is Auxiliary's uh, favourite map and strongest map. Um, you know, with uh, Team One, we actually played and got knocked out by uh, by Auxiliary. Um, yeah, back in the in the CGO ladder, um, they challenged us before finals, and they got uh, 13, uh, 11 rounds on Carnage when the back when they were. Oops. Which who turned out the CGR team, so they're very strong at that map. Yeah, most definitely. So hope we can bring it back here and push us into a third map and uh, and really make Impervious fight for this uh, right to play against MCON in the grand final. But uh, the boys here haven't started the veto yet, but uh, Goku's just saying that we veto first. And um, Maverick is just laying the rules down, saying this is how it works, boys. Do it my way or... I'm going to punch you. Anyway, so Maverick, what do you reckon of the match so far? Joining us a little bit late, but um, you can go through the scoreboard of final time, uh, or, yeah, yeah, if you want. Um, well, having a look at the world, can't really redo the maximum scoreboard of the final time due to them continually uh, playing, I believe. So that was 16-11, so they must just be running around right now. Uh, as we saw, though, Stefo, uh, Stefano just 30-bombing uh, beautifully and carrying the Ox guys, but unfortunately not good enough because uh, Jizza almost got 30-bomb, but uh, he was carrying, and Bear and Goku as well, uh, carrying impervious to victory there, 16-11. Um, so as we organise these videos here, uh, let's. Uh, so Mitch, you said you said second map. You reckon will be Villa? Yeah. Um, yeah. From last veto, it was a choice between Hanoi and Villa, and usually they just go with the same veto choices. I mean, if they don't want to play a certain map for the first time, I mean, I don't know whether it, it must be pretty confident on that map because I'm pretty sure most people know that um, Orcs is pretty strong on Villa. So let's see. Um, See what happens here as Maverick lays down the law. Um, yeah, man, they don't listen, do they, man? Once they get to leagues, they think they know everything, but it's clearly not the case. Oh, trust me, CGI is worse. I couldn't agree more with you guys, though. The higher <laughs> level I, I you play, the less you see the day. Everyone's mean, uh, like, people People do actually ask me that, like, yeah, what, wait, do we veto first? I'm like, I don't know. Ask somebody <laughs> else. Hey, uh, yeah, so Cyanide, how much is that now where I've had to actually explain to him who vetoes? Well, not enough, because I pretty still much. don't know the veto rules. Though. I think I think it's pretty much the same as Modern Warfare 3, which, again, I don't know the veto rules. Sorry, Sam, man, if you're still listening. I'm, I'm trying to pay attention to, to how you explain it to me. I just, nothing sinks in. That's why you need Sam, man, around all day. You need to be able to reach him in any way possible. No, the first one's easy. The second one will start getting complicated. But this, but when I'm casting, I, I de definitely don't take on a ref slash admin role. So that's the difference. And all the big guys with veto, um, I'm casting. So that's probably why I'm a little... Uh, Grid goes out from impervious. A little rough on those rules. So Grid's gone. Very sad day for me. I love that map. Yeah, Grid is a very good map, but... Um... Just to keep our players uh, or viewers up to date, um, we're starting the veto now as we see uh, Impervious take out the first map, which was Hanoi. And uh, they took it out 16 11 against Auxiliary as more Auxiliary vetoes Havana now. So we're uh, slowly getting through the uh, the vetoes here and uh, hopefully we'll see, and hopefully you're right, Mitch, that we'll see uh, we'll see Villa get played. Just uh, for your information, do not alt tab. 
Every time I do it, I've ever, like literally every time I've done it, I've done it like four times and been disconnected during the cast. That and that's I, the I first never time learned. I've ever been yeah. disconnected. That, ever. That, trust me, it's only when I'm casting. I, when I'm screaming, I'll tab like every round. Come into a cast, it happens every time. Must be a bug <laughs> with the shoutcaster mode. Coil, if you're watching. Oh, yeah. My... Yeah, Jungle Coil gets vetoed fixed, here. mate. You're not an admin on Black Ops for nothing. I run it in... Um, <laughs> I, I mean, look, I run the game in windowed mode, and it's something like 13... 13 something by... 1366 by 768. So, mm. I don't have that problem as soon as it's in windowed mode, but full screen mode, yeah, every time I minimise that. It's get... between Villa and Isis. Please, somebody be a wise man and pick Villa. Yeah, pick Villa, son. Do not, not <laughs> pick Crisis. Yeah, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we are left with Crisis and Villa. Villa, there we go, Crisis yeah, gets taken Villa. out. And we're going to be seeing Villa as the second map between Impervious and Auxiliary. And uh, just before we go on, I'd like to say hello to Crispy there from Inc. Hello, Crispy. Thanks for spamming me over and over again for a shout out. So, Mr. Maverick, would you do a few rounds here with Mitch or with, um, or, you know? Yeah. Top cyanide, really? I'll hop in. We'll just, we'll just take turns and uh, I'll, maybe I'll hop in a little less and give you a bit more. Do you want to do practice. second half, Mitch? Uh, nah, man, nah, you know, hop in, you guys, you guys can do it, and I'll, uh, I'll maybe take a round and special comments and that kind of thing, and you guys can, uh, take this map. I just want to let Mr. Turtle know that I'm not 40. 32. <laughs> <laughs> 32 well, is a less, alright? Tegan, as much of a smart ass that you are, it's, like, you're heading yourself towards a possible ban from just watching this stuff, and it's enjoyable stuff to watch, so... And I've seen a lot of people tell you to shut up in the chat, so please do listen because uh, I'm pretty, pretty sure a lot of us have had, actually had enough of your attitude right now and people are actually getting annoyed in the chat. So, Miss Tegan, if you do want to actually be quiet now and enjoy the game, then uh, that's recommended. Thank you. We do have a band button to team down Twitch TV as well, so uh, just be very careful. I don't think I've used it yet. No, I did. Last week I used it. So yeah. I, some, someone wanted to give away some spoilers we don't like that you will get removed if you let spoilers go so i do keep an eye i know you guys do give a couple of spoilers i do have the window open on my second monitor so i can see all the chat but please don't give spoilers it wrecks it for the people watching it and when there's a few rounds left and especially when it's close um, spoilers can wreck it for the viewing pleasure of others because it's exciting it is when when, when the team you're rooting for is close to the other team. You think, oh, can they do it? Can they not? Um, so no spoilers either, guys. Just lucky I'm not yeah, the bad type. Yeah, we certainly that. Um... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was being a bit uh, nice tonight. But yeah, certainly, you know, a lot of people have friends and uh, whatnot. But it looks like we're about to go live here. But please don't Impervious spoil the, uh, the score. Yeah, Impervious on attack. Maverick, would like to take us away on the first round of Villa. Yeah, no worries. Let's just have a look at taking bomb. Looks like Unnerfer are uh, going for a nice A push here. Pushing up in the back of the fountain. Uh, good luck's going out on both teams. First off by Goku. Uh, Eshmo sitting bot. Villa takes out Unnerfer. Bomb down front. Villa. And, uh, oh, Hawk taking out Aneurysm. So maybe they can still try and get that bomb into A. Smoke's rolling out everywhere. Going back courtyard and uh, bot Villa. Just trying to get that bomb down. Will he go for the full uh, plan? No, he doesn't. He goes for the fake and now the full one. And now another fake correction. Jesus taking out Hawk. Jesus double kill. Takes out Goku. Eshmo taking out Jizza. And all of a sudden it's down 4v1. Bear just been the last one up for Imp on this first round of attack. And he is the scope, I believe. Sitting, uh, yes, he is indeed. Just sitting at the back sniper building, just drops down. He's calmed by the team, and I was unable to see who just took him out. But uh, that is 1-0 in favour of Auxiliary. Yeah, look, it was a pretty strong push by Impervious. They do like the A more on this map, uh, Impervious, for Villa. And it uh, looked like a strong push, but uh, I think Auxiliary, like Mitch said before, they are very strong on this map, as um, you know, I've experienced as well, playing with them in the CGA um, matches as well. As we look at Impervious, do another A push here. They do have a lot of people in Fountain pushing up. Bear is still with that scope now, as the bomb is coming down by Jizz, who's carrying the bomb. Uh, Nev takes out Jesus, and it's only four up for uh, three up for Auxiliary, as Hawks takes out Aneurysm. Um, so they've got Got the bomb down impervious they just got to lock it down as gizmo does spot someone in the connector there and he shoots him he gets taken out though tech too good too sharp takes him out bear tech gets a nice scope on stefano double scope there by bear takes out stefano and eshmo and tech's left up now to try to kill four impervious he does get tagged and he gets taken out bad luck there tech well there you go it was uh instantly just a yeah uh, 
sorry, a reaction there to the Impervious guys just uh, fighting back hard. And I'm surprised they went for another A rush because they got absolutely annihilated on the uh, on the first round. But clearly, Impervious tried to pull it back. So once again, Impervious rushing four into Fountain. That's very surprising. Definitely stacking Fountain there. Um, then. Just rushing back into A, getting a rapid plant down there. Is it the full plant by Jizza? It is. He gets tagged, but can't get killed. Bomb goes down. Hawk taking out Aneurysm. Stefo and G uh, Jesus taking out two of the impervious guys. Goku taking out Eshmo. Uh, Unnerfer taking out Jesus as well. So that's a nice little... Uh yeah, another nice little rebuttal from the Impervious guys. So that's three up for Impervious, two up for Auxiliary, and Auxiliary also have to get the, the defuse down. So let's just have a look at where Tech is sitting. Bot Villa gets tags on Goku, unable to take him down. And uh, Hawk taking out Tech there. So Stefano going for a triple kill, I believe, plus the defuse. And about 20 seconds left on the bombsite clock. So where's he sitting? He's slowly rushing into the A bombsite. Uh, see someone, Bot Villa, unable to take him out. Hawk takes him out. And uh, two one hawk with five five kills one death already for impervious. Yeah, look, another one of those maps that I think defending is a lot easier than uh, than attacking. Um, and let's have a look at the auxiliary defense here. It looks pretty standard. They've got one over at wide B. Uh, they've got one uh, near connector B there, and they've got uh, three heading over to A. Uh, courtyard, obviously, bottom villa, top villa. As we see, Jesus takes out Hawk there, and um, Impervious to left up. They are going for the plant, though, as Tech takes out Unnef, and... Goku takes out Jesus there as Tech gets a Python kill on Jizz. Bert gets a nice scope on Tech and Impervious are left with two against three auxiliary guys. The bomb is down. Goku is in courtyard. He spams. Gets taken out. There's two in the courtyard there and an aneurysm takes out Goku. Claims the kill. Uh, let's have a look at Bear's doing. Yeah, he's got the scope so he's going to need to hustle. He's got the Python out and aneurysm too good. Takes out Bear and we're going to see the round go to auxiliary to make it 2 all. Well, hopefully Auxiliary only do fight back hard. They need this to, to stay in the CGA Finals, I believe. What's this? The uh, This is the semi, isn't it? Yeah, preliminary semi. Yeah, the team oh, yeah, that win goes and plays MCON in the Grand Final. Ooh, beauty. Well, that's the uh, Auxiliary definitely need to fight back hard and preferably not keep it round for round. They need to get a good lead on Impervious to uh, to make sure this does go into a third map to keep their hopes up. Uh, Jesus was spotting one just in main, like in the mid straight next to Fountain. I able to take him out. Bear taking out Eshmo with a beautiful sniper shot there. And it looks like another A rush. Impervious just wall banging Jesus, easily calmed. So already 5v3. Goku just checking out the bomb site. Tech takes out Unnerfer. Bomb goes down on uh, right next to the A bomb site. So. Now it is just a 3v4 and Impervious has to push in, grab that bomb and possibly plant it. Hawk taking out Stefano. Aneurysm getting heavily tagged. Can he just get back from that? Uh, looks like he does. Rushing top villa. So they're now just stacking top villa. Just looking for someone. One on flank. Aneurysm can't take it out. Getting tagged again. Bomb goes down at A. So now it's just 4v2. And uh, Tech and Aneurysm are going to have to get the 4 down and the defuse in about 30 seconds now. 30 seconds left on the clock. Tech, state, tech takes down Jizza. Bear takes down Anya's and now it's just Tech v3 Impervious. Tech sees one, just bot Villa. Zoom up, unable to get any tags. And uh, about 10s left on the clock, bomb going down. And honestly, it doesn't look like he's able to get this one. So uh, Impervious might just have this round. And by the looks of that, uh, Goku takes him out, just going into courtyard. So that's 3v2 Impervious now of the lead. Yeah, so we've seen uh, strong pushes by uh, Impervious, and it looks like they haven't gone to B yet. They have uh, done a lot of A pushes since the start of the map, so let's uh, keep following them now and see what they're doing. So Gizmo, uh, looks like it's another solid A push. They've got four inside the fountain, um, and Bear hanging back there in the scope house with the uh, the sniper as uh, a lot of nays are flying around. Eshmo rushes out and takes out Hawk with the MP5K. Jiz has jumped into onto the A-bomb now, and he's going to go for a fake, not really going for a real plan, as Unnef takes out Eshmo, and Goku takes out Jesus. It's three up for auxiliary against, oh, there we go, Tech takes out Gizmo, and it's 3v3. Nef is tagged hard, but Bear gets a kill on Stefano, and Goku gets a nice python on aneurysm, so Tech last up again. The bomb is not down yet. Tech is in bottom villa and just spamming away outside of the A-bomb. They do spot where he is now, so let's see what they're doing. Unnef has just run and picked up the bomb. Looks like he's going to go for a plant now with a lot of cover. Bear checking out the top villa there. Goku on the courtyard making sure that, uh, that uh, his teammate gets the bomb down. He does hear him.
but he doesn't see him. So Goku now just being very wary on the A stairs there, as Tech is spamming frantically over at Unnef. And he gets a kill on Unnef, though. He's got to be careful of Bear here. Bear, let's see what Bear's up to. Uh, Bear is jumping over now, throws a nade over as Tech goes for the defuse. He has to run away, but gets taken out. So another round to Impervious. It's 4-2 now in favour of Impervious attacking on Villa. Well, clearly they're not uh, they're not defending A good enough there, the guys. Tech being the last one left now, what, uh, three or four rounds in a row. And, I, and he's against three of the Impervious, so clearly Exilia aren't be able, being able to pick them off as efficiently as they're trying to do. Uh, looks like another A push. They're getting really, really good rushes in. They're not even pushing wide. I haven't seen a player go wide yet. Goku taking out Aneurysm with a nade uh, from Courtyard, I believe. And uh, Tech taking out Planter, so Jizza goes down. Bomb goes down right next to A. Uh, doesn't get the plant though. Goku taking out Tech. Stefano taking out Bear. Goku taking out Jesus. Nice double kill there by Goku. Uh, correction, triple kill because he got the nade at the start of the round. So Goku going huge right now. Taking out three of them. And manages to get the bomb down at A by the looks of things. With big cover. Stefano just on the flank. And just having a look. Eshmo. Eshmo just sitting top villa. Bomb goes down from Goku. And uh, they're just going to... Oh, Eshmo's correction, flashing courtyard. Oh no, smoke. That looked like a flash when I looked at it. I'm never taking out Eshmo. Shutdowns Goku's team down, unfortunately. So Stefano just up, taking out... Th to take out three of the Impervious guys and get the defuse. And uh, where is he sitting? Just front, uh, just in front of the A-bomb, aiming up top Villa. But Goku takes him out beautifully. Goku getting a four down that round. Great clutch and great teamwork by the uh, Impervious guys. Goku 10 for two. Look at this carry. And just a shout out, uh, it's not a 007, but it's close enough for Jizza. 07. Beautiful Jizza. Well done, mate. Could be our next secret agent, well. Yeah, if anything, we thought it'd be uh, net problems again. But let's have a look here. Impervious have gone A for the last five or six rounds. Bear gets a nice uh, scope there on Eshmo and Auxiliary uh, down to four as uh, Annie replies with a scope himself and takes out Unnef. Tech just runs right up and shoots Jizz and Goku takes out Tech. So it's 3v3 now, Impervious versus Auxiliary. And looks like they have gone for another A push as Bear gets another nice scope kill on Stefano. Uh, Goku goes for the fake plant. Jizuis takes out Hawk and Jizuis gets the Python out and takes out Goku. Bad luck there, Goku. But Bear is up now and he has got the... Um, he does have a scope as well, but he's got the Python out at the moment. Up in top Villa, he does sneak up behind Annie though and gets a nice kill on him. He still has that scope. And let's check where Jesus is. He's... Uh, just over in the A stairs, so he does hear Bear underneath him, or just over at A now, um, and he's just going to sit tightly. Both players making a lot of noise here, uh, not really worrying about the noise, but Bear does poke out and running towards the fan. Now, what does Jesus do? He takes a shot, but he doesn't kill him as Bear runs and rotates over to B, but he's, no, he's turned around, he's going to go, hey, I'm going to play mind games with you, and he sees uh, Jesus poking, and Bear takes him out. So 6-2, I was really just going to be really careful here, because if they don't get enough rounds on defense, it's going to make Impervious's life a lot easier when they go on the defense. Just to hop in for a second, I think uh, this is a bit of an attack bias map, um, whether you're playing it. I don't think Imp are playing the attack bias uh, strategy, though. They're really playing a really fast A push, and uh, Orcs don't exactly know how to react to this. Uh, so, yeah. Well, I think Orcs are still pushing... Uh, yeah, Eshmo is still going top B every round, but and they're rushing one on flank, but clearly not fast enough. Uh, Ox guys quickly getting a three down, Hawk taking out Stefano, and Jesus getting a double kill there. Very fast. Uh, there you go. Uh, right there, that a round? Mitch. My own words. Yeah. What's going Eating on here? <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Eating your own words there, Mitch. It was over as soon as Strat time yeah, was they, up, pretty they much. Yeah, they did a massive stack on that A site, and they just cleaned up. I still there don't know go, what's going on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah um, I, that was too good. I didn't even see it was around. All I heard was Maverick talk for about a minute and it was over. Not even that, I don't think. But uh, let's have a look here. Looks like the Impervious are doing for another A push. Auxiliary gets nice. Two quick kills. Goku is down. Jizz is down. But Unnef takes Stefano out. So Impa left with three. Looks like they're going to slow things down a little bit here because they're only playing with three. Still pushing that A bomb site. They haven't gone B or a split push yet. As we see Unnef take out Aneurysm. So Eshmo, Jesus, and Tech. Last three up, guys, for the uh, Auxiliary against Bear, Unnef, and Hawk. So they are going to take it very slow, possibly looking at a rotate over to B here. Hawk on the flank, just making sure uh, that no one's coming up behind them. Bear still got that scope, and they have one just moving into the uh, the fountain here. And Hawk does hear someone uh, creeping over nearby the B or the statue there as he heads through triangle, looking into bottom bar and top bar. You know, leaning over, making sure he doesn't over poke here. But uh, auxiliary 
needs to win the next couple of rounds, at least on defense, so they can... Uh... Oh, there we go. Hawk does spot someone in connector, and that would be Eshmo. Doesn't kill him, though, and Eshmo throws a nade. Um, and Unnef takes out Chisois, but he gets replied by Eshmo by taking him out. Um, and it's 2v2, Auxiliary versus Impervious. A lot of shots being fired. Bear spots Eshmo and takes him out with the Python. And Tech is the last up. Where is he? He's up in top villa, balcony. He gets a few shots off and he gets taken out. 7-3 now in favour of Impervious. Really pulling away here. Well, a nice little bait there. Bear took a few tags and uh, his teammate actually made it look like he was running the other side. So uh, right there was uh, Tech quickly aiming at the other side and then Bear popped up and took him out with a scope again. Uh, let's have a look at the off defense. So they are stacking A pretty heavily this time. Once again, one going flank and one watching B. So let's just have a look where the bomb is. And it looks like the only round that they don't actually stack uh, stack B bomb side and help out there was the round that they and Pervious decide to go B. So Hawk taking out Eshmo, being the only defender at the B bomb site. Easy plan. Jizza taking out Jesus. Jizza getting double killed. Aneurysm going down. Tech taking out Goku. Stefano taking out Jizza. So nice return there. Three v two situation. Bomb goes down. And uh, 35 on the clock, Stefano getting a double kill there, taking out Bear as well. Tech taking out Hawk, and all of a sudden it's Unnerfer just to defend, uh, defend the bomb site there. So Unnerfer heading back into garage, and Stefano uh, hears him, but uh, we'll see what he does actually. He does decide to follow him, he does get the kill, and uh, great defense there. Uh, correction, sorry, great, yeah, great defense actually, uh, attacking the defending bomb site, but. Uh, Stefano picks up that. It's the defuse in perfect timing. So 7 4. And nice round back there from Auxiliary. Yeah, look, Stefano played well. Then Auxiliary did a very quick rotate. Like you said, they did stack A. Uh, but as soon as um, Eshmo, I believe, got taken out over the side of B there, they did a very quick rotate and managed to win the rounds. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. Let's have a look at Auxiliary again. They are stacking the A side. They're picking that imp will go A again this round. And it looks like they have because they have. Three inside the fountain, Bear still back there with the scope, and one pushing wide A now, and Unnef is with the bomb. Tech takes out Hawk, and Stefano takes out Goku, so there's three left on the Impervious team. Uh, looks Looking good here for the Auxiliary team, as Jizz takes out Jisuis, um, and Stefano, Aneurysm, Eshmo, and Tech up. Bear gets a nice scope though on Eshmo, and it's uh, very quickly turned around to a 3v3. Unnef just... Uh, doing laps around the fountain at the moment here with the bomb as he's slowly going to push into uh, push into the, uh, the oh no, he's turned back now and he's heading towards connector. Jizz takes out aneurysm and Stefano takes out bear. So the scope is down for impervious. Uh, 2v2, uh, Stefano and Tech versus Unnef and Jizmo. Um, Jizmojo, sorry, I've been calling him Jizmo for the last two maps. But it looks like Unnef is uh, rotating over to B now. Let's have a look where the auxiliary guys is. Tech has no clue that he's rotated yet. He's still just looming around here. Gets a nice kill on Jiz though. And he does see the bomb coming down now in Stefano. And it looks like they're both going to be heading through connector as Unnef plants the bomb and moves to wide B. But he's heading back through the double doors now. Not sure what he's going to do from here. Probably try to flank him from behind. Yes, he is going to do that. Auxiliary is going to be careful here, but uh, they don't want to leave it too long. Uh, Tech does a quick defuse, fake defuse. Unnef is moving through arches there, heading up from behind him. Can they pick him up? Stefano hears him and takes him out and goes for the defuse. So Stefano's won a few rounds here for Auxiliary and they're doing really well. 7-5 uh, now in favour of uh, Impervious. Well, you can definitely tell who the carry is for Auxiliary there. Uh, Tech and Stefano pulling away with the lead there, 16-9, 10-8. And also you can tell who the two carriers are for Impervious. Bear, Bear 14-7, Goku 11-7. So there's, there's two team carries for both uh, both teams at the moment, so we'll just have to watch a bit more to see who actually pulls away with the big 20s and big 30 bombs, if there are any in this map, that is. 7-5, uh, so three rounds to go on uh, on defense for Ox. Let's see how they can carry it. Jesus decides to rush out front Villa. Bear shuts him down. No way, he says. Bear getting a beautiful double kill with that scope. Let's quickly switch to him and see how he's doing. Jizz are taking out Eshmo. So already uh, Aneurysm and Tech having to defend both bomb sides. And uh, and take out all five uh, of the imp guys, and I don't think uh, uh, aneurysm is uh, yet unclear that it's actually a B push. Bomb goes down at B. Bear picks up aneurysm triple down. So Bear just uh, pulled out his scope and he's he's just shutting everyone down right now. So it's tech v five. Tech's been comped bot bar, and by the looks of it, Bear gets a four down and takes out. Uh, Takes out, correction, Tech, Bop Bar. So once again, Tech being the last one alive for Ox. This has happened probably eight rounds in a row now. Yeah, and he's certainly not a bass, so uh, so maybe he's just getting a little bit lucky with the uh, 
having the honor of trying to take out four or five him guys but uh let's have a look at impervious here jesus mojo uh is the bomb carrier as we see stefano going large again taking out two impervious guys hawk and goku down stefano does get tagged up but he's going to manage to escape and uh and regen uh, regen his health there jesus mojo is looking at flank now bear still back there though with the scope and they're both over a wide a at the moment impervious um for some reason jesus mojo is looking into the scope building let's have a look where bear is bear is uh Bear is um, near the scope house, but he's heading over towards Triangle now, as we see Unnef trying to spam through that building and get someone, and that person would be no one, because there's no one in there. He shot anyway. I think All Jizz... this proning for Jizz to be able to work out. Yeah, yeah, so Jizz, uh... oh. <laughs> Eshmo takes out Jizz and Mojo, Eshmo takes out Unnef, and Aneurysm takes out Eshmo, and hey, say so, hey. Leave me some kills, buddy. So it's uh, Bear up with the scope here against four. He does spot one. He takes a shot. He doesn't get him. Gets the python out and takes out Stefano. So a little bit lucky there for Bear. But he's picked up the bomb. He is at a wide A. Managed to pick up an AK-47 with that scope as well. He's going to be pretty deadly here. I think Bear is a, a fantastic player and um, and certainly can frag. So uh, let's see. He's flashed inside. He does get taken out, though. So 8-6 now in favor of Impervious. There you go. So Ox, uh, Ox, by the looks of it, we're working out the defensive strategy. I've got mail apparently. Uh, so let's let's just watch Ox again. Looks like they might be in the A stack. No, actually they're uh, doing something a little different. This looks. Like. They're sending one connector. I haven't seen this uh, this for Ox before anyway. And he's just watching Stefano just calling out which bomb site it's going to. By the looks of it, Unnerf is already in on the A bomb site. He might be going for the real plant. Is he? Yes, he is. And uh, Bear's what his flank with the scope. It's already... So no no one down yet. Jesus takes out Jizza. Uh, Goku taking out Tech. So one down each team. Goku double kill takes out Jesus as well. Um, so bombs down already. Nice rush plant there by Impervious. Uh, fighting back with Courage. And Unnerf sees uh, Stefano jumping out front. Villa takes him down. Oh, and, uh, it's been so good for Eshmo and Aneurysm having to take out four and get the defuse. Hawk taking sorry, already combed that. The Hawk takes out Stefano, already combed that. Goku taking out Eshmo. And uh Aneurysm quickly knifing Goku, but on Nerf uh, headshots him uh, beautifully for the half. Uh just having a look at the half time score sheet to bear uh, for impervious bear nineteen eight. Goku fourteen nine unnerf at ten ten. Jizza not doing so well. Five fourteen. And uh Hawk 9, 9, by the looks of that. So, uh, how's Ox going quickly, Marvel, as we start the second half? Yeah, Glory here, won six rounds. Um, look, Stefano is leading, very strong, 12, 11, but he's a couple of, must be a lot of tags and whatnot. He is leading the scoreboard. Tech on 16 kills, 11 deaths. Jesus on 10 kills, 12 deaths. Eshmo and Aneurysm behind there on six kills and 12 deaths each as we start the next round here. So we've got Impervious quickly taking out three auxiliary guys, and Aneurysm and Tech are the only two up. Goku's rotating over to B now. They think it's a B push. Tech is over at wide B. And let's see where uh, Aneurysm is. He has got that scope. And he gets taken out very quickly. Two deaths there. So 10-6 now in favor of uh, Impervious. Not looking really good here. What do you think, Maverick? That was another rush round there. I uh, I paid attention halfway through that. It was already it was over. So uh, beautiful defense there from uh, Imp. Pretty much picking that, that B. The B rush. So this time it's an A rush by the looks of things. Uh, sending three wide to in fountain, so we'll see how that works. Goku sees aneurysm, takes him down with the scope. They're not smoking top filler at all, so they're giving Goku just a clean slate to get some kills. Uh, Tech just chucking a flash in courtyard. They'll see if we can get the bomb down at A. Uh, Jizza says no, thank you. Takes out Eshmo. Bomb goes uh, down right next to the A bomb site, unable to get the plant down. Jizza's taking out Jizza in retaliation. So uh, three four, uh, impervious way and. Tech is just looking around, he's trying to sneak up to that bomb site, but it looks like to get the bomb down. Unnerf taking out Stefano, 2-4 impervious way this time. And uh, yeah, Tech's kind of lost right now, he's looking around. Hawk takes out Jesus, and all of a sudden it's just Tech once again. We should get a counter out here to see how many times uh, Tech is just the last one remaining. Goku sees him, goes for a few scopes, Tech takes him down. And uh, definitely calmed by the rest of his team, bullets going out everywhere. And just quickly, Unnerf just uh, steps around the corner in courtyard, takes him out. So, two great defending rounds by Impervious. Uh, attack biased map, you say, Mitch, but Impervious look like they've got a better defense than uh, Oxu offense. Yeah, I think um, I think Ox should try something a bit different. I mean, they got an acceptable number of rounds on the uh, on the other side. Um, in terms of defense slash attack, and I really thought they could have maybe pulled it through this half, but Imp are actually looking. Yeah, Imp 
So, yes. uh, yeah. And so we see take out Bear there. I think Mitch has just got a little bit of uh, technical problems there. But Hawk takes out, uh, sorry, our Nev takes out Stefano. And it's only two up at the moment for uh, Auxiliary. Not looking really good here. Jesus takes out Hawk, though. So it's our Nev, Jizumo, uh, and Goku. Three impervious guys up against two Auxiliary. Goku does have the scope here. Bear's gone, nah, you take the scope. I'm sick of it. I'm going to rush. So Tech now just throwing a nade into Connector. The, both the Auxiliary guys are over near the, uh, the triangle. The bomb is down near the bomb site, or the B bomb site rather and take is the tech is moving very slowly but gets taken out by jizz in connector there and it's leaving jesus up who takes out unnefa and goku still at yb there with that scope and jesus now takes out jizz mojo and it's a one-on-one -on -one situation here between jesus and goku who will be more dominant will goku go super saiyan and take out jesus i don't think so but let's see how we go anyway jesus is just heading over to wide b now goku still on the b bomb looking into triangle because that's where jesus was last calmed out jesus Jesus has got to make his move here pretty quickly. Goku now just oh does see him, repokes and takes him out. Very nice there, Goku. Super Saiyan level three. But anyway, it's twelve six in favor of Impervious. Yeah, definitely going Super Saiyan. That's for sure. Uh, Goku lifting for his team. Uh, Bear, Bear's already twenty bomb, twenty one nine. Goku seventeen. So once again, they're still the leaders. They have been all around. Uh, sorry, correction, all map. Um, and I reckon they up there because they're playing beautifully. Uh, even last map they played even better. So it looks like another B push here. We'll see if it works out this time. Uh, great defense already at B by Impervious with one wide, one connector, and one in Barbo, looks of things. And uh, chucks a quick grenade if takes out Stefano. And there's one connector. Eshmo takes out Anerfa, but Jizza takes out Tech. Jizza taking out Anurism. Double kill. Hawk takes out Eshmo. Already it's 1 4 with Jesus once again the last one remaining. So this time it's not Tech. It's kind of changing around to Jesus. Uh, Jesus gets a few tags, but Bear quickly comes around from the flank, says no, and shuts him down with the uh, MP5K. So 13, three more rounds, and it looks like we might not be going to a third map unless Auxiliary snap out of this and figure out something new. Yeah, it looks like Impervious yeah, look have off. just had enough and they've they gone in for the uh, win now. That They uh, they want that at least second spot to take home some uh, take home some money. Yeah, certainly. As we saw, Hawk take out Stefano there. Andrewism takes out Unnef and Bear takes out Eshmo. So it's 4v3 and uh, I wouldn't count Auxiliary out just yet, but who knows? Jizz and Mojo taking out Jesus and uh, it's only two up at the moment. Auxiliary, Andrewism and Tech against four Impervious guys. Let's move over and see what Goku's doing. He's up on top Villa Balcony there with that scope still going large. Oh, Andrewism here with the bomb and he's going to push into and he does spot someone in the fountain but doesn't take him out there. He's last up Andrewism against four Impervious and he gets a kill on bear and three left goku takes a shot at him doesn't miss let's see what hawk is doing he's looking at wide a no doubt aneurysm has been calmed out jizz mojo now also looking at hey they're all over him here uh aneurysm can he do it he's uh reloading his ak getting a few pokes every now and then he's just checking his flank back into fountain just to see if anything's interesting anyone's going to poke him a flash does come over hits him right in the face and he's going to be flashed for quite some time here if any of the imp guys are going to push him no they're not going to push they're going to sit there and wait and let him come out very nice play imp here he's not going to push him he takes out goku though aneurysm and it's two up hawk and jizamojo aneurysm still checking the flank though very cautious the bomb timer is counting down so he's going to have to make his move here they're all over hawk is on the flank there making sure he doesn't rotate and jizamojo does spot him as aneurysm does a nice little high jump leap there into the uh the courtyard and he's going for the plan now jizz is spamming him but can't get through that bomb side but eventually does and takes him out 14 6 here impervious on a steamroll and uh and certainly pulling away yeah it's definitely Getting out of Ox's reach, like they're kind of giving up by the looks of things. Uh, aneurysm just going 917, Eshmo 716, so definitely being a little bit of a letdown for the auxiliary side. And Tex just saying, hey, I'm the last one up every round, you guys are just dying somehow, can you stop please? Tech just takes out bare MP5K, strong effort from Tech, once again. Uh, it looks like they're stacking two connector and either a B or an A is unable to tell right now because Bomb's just down in connector, Hawks takes aneurysm out so Bomb goes down and uh, Tech quickly picks it up and goes you guys are being stupid right now let's go A, Tech takes down Jizza, nice, two down already in this round, Goku beautiful double kill, Eshmo and Stefano goes down, 2v3 situation here, Tech uh, Tech with the bomb, just sitting bottom villa, just having a look who we can take. Jesus takes that scope. That'll help Auxiliary definitely getting the bomb down uh, successfully. Let's just have a look at where Hawk is. Hawk just sitting in bot villa and unnerved for just back fountain. So they should get a successful plant. And uh, we'll see where they go here. Oh, Hawk. Jesus not even checking his corner. Hawk getting a double kill. Jeez, you would have thought they'd come that a bit faster. Terrible gameplay from Auxiliary, uh, especially by...
Heck as well. He had a great round, but he quickly chased in after Jesus to uh, get flanked there by Hawks. So 15-6, match point for Impervious. And uh, looks like the fat lady may be singing. Oh, I certainly won't be around since the fat lady sing, but um, it looks like you're right. It looks like Auxiliary has uh, just sort of gone, oh, look, you know, don't worry about the prize money. You know, you guys take it. You know, we're just going to sit back and relax here. Looks like a strong A push, though, by Auxiliary. No one's down yet. A lot of shots being fired. No one's really been spotted yet as a nade um, almost tagging up aneurysm there. Tech gets tagged up, though. Probably him that uh, got tagged up. Two quick kills there. Bear takes out Stefano, and Jizamojo takes out Jisui. So it is match point here. Bear takes out aneurysm, and Eshmo gets tagged up real hard. He gets taken out, though. Jizamojo finishes him off, and it's last up again Tech. What's going on here? He's left up against five or four now, sorry, impervious guys, as he takes out Jizamojo. He has the MP5K. The bomb is down at wide A. Not a very good situation for Tech here, as we look at, uh, I dare say, it's GG. Um, although he does manage to take out Unnefer up in top villa and uh, he no doubt would be calm now He does hear some noise. He takes a few shots and he doesn't get the kill But he doesn't get killed either reloading and he is getting chased though impervious want to finish this off They're like hey, let's go to bed. It's Monday. We got work tomorrow. Let's uh, let's secure this win and um, <laughs> And tech there just uh, running around, but that's GG 16-6 and 2-0 uh, um, impervious wins there yeah, Impervious definitely been strong that game. Um, it looked a little bit like Auxiliary were putting out a fighting effort uh, when they first went on defense, but it looks like it went all Impervious from there. And Tech, Tech must, he's got to have it with his team after that one. They just kind of ran in uh, as, as he sat back. You know, if they sat back a bit more, they would have got some picks because Impervious liked to push. But it looks like Tech just couldn't, it was a one-man team then in the end, and he just couldn't pull it off. Well, yeah, if you're still around, Mitch and tonight, what do you guys think about that match? <laughs> I th I called it. I, I thought Impervious were going to win. I, I said that, but Auxiliary just um, yeah, they they weren't with it tonight, were they? Really? They yeah. Were... Look, they put up a good fight on Hanoi. Um, against Impervious, strong and um, and certainly just couldn't pull, th pull through in the end. Um, Villa is one of uh, Auxiliary's just maps, and uh, and it looks like they choke a little bit there, and it is unfortunate, and uh, sorry about that, Auxiliary. But, uh, well, it was a good game and a bit late, but uh, good share cast. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see possibly as close a game as we expected, so Auxiliary must have either got tired or... I don't know, uh, any, anything could have happened really. So, um, bad luck to Auxiliary. Looks like they'll be going down early in this final game. But, uh, Pervious moving on to the grand final and uh, easy cash money there for the grand final, I believe. So, either way, they'll be, they'll be leaving with something. So, they must be happy about that. And looks like it's MCON, uh, so Mouse Control, I believe that's what their team name is, against Impervious. Yeah, they uh, yeah definitely MCON or Mouse Control, and they've recently just changed their name over to Extreme Vigils. So maybe a little bit of a uh, bit of luck there, so they can win the uh, CGA Grand Final, which hopefully won't take too long to organise and schedule because uh, the uh, the league has gone for over twelve weeks now, which was uh, what the uh, the admins as we interviewed uh, Holly last time. Uh, they were aiming for 12 weeks. I believe it's gone for 15 or 16 now. So hopefully we don't have to wait a month to see the CGA grand final here between uh, MCON, Extreme Individuals, and Impervious, lucky to get a second chance. They did lose to MCON um, in the uh, in the semi-finals a couple of weeks ago. Um, but certainly, hopefully, this second chance that they've got will, uh, will pay off. Yeah, hopefully they book that game in soon. I mean, at the end of the day, they're both... They're both guaranteed a little bit of money, one team a little bit more than the other, but hopefully they can get it off um, pretty soon and take that money home. So um, good game from both teams. I just want to say, yeah, I did spam it, but join our Steam group, please, guys. Oh, excuse me. And just to wrap it up, because obviously we waited a bit initially, um, do you guys have any more shout-outs, anything else to say to anyone? No, that's it. That's it? That's it from all of us then. No. <laughs> For me, and hopefully we'll uh, see the viewers again in the next uh, couple of grand final matches, CGI and CGA. Yeah, I'm just glad. Uh, Go, Mav. Glad it started late. I'm glad it started uh, so long late because I managed to do my black uh, no chance taking out third position CGO as well. By the way, beating Sin tonight, two maps to zero. 
and still managed to get into the second half of the shout cast. So well done, no chance. And uh, looks like sorry, I was unable to see who actually was CGO Grand Final. Yeah, for sure. So hopefully we can catch that CGO um, Grand Final as oh. well. But um, oh, I think CGO Grand Final's already happened by the looks of it? things. Uh, Delta Force. Yeah. That was the other day, wasn't like... it? Or was that yesterday? That was last night. Yeah. Last night. That's Delta right. Force. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Delta Force took out the CGO Grand Final. Congratulations, Delta Force. You were the underdogs. Yeah, congratulations, Delta. Um, I certainly played real well. Won both maps, I think, Jungle and... Um, I can't remember what the second map was, but they did take it out 2-0 against um, EOS. End of story. So EOS are a very strong team, but Delta proved to be stronger in the end, and congratulations, their CGO finalists. But we'll keep an eye. We'll keep an eye because we've also got Frox and no chance for the CGI grand final, and obviously impervious and um, mouse control for the CGA grand final. So we'll keep an eye to see when those maps, uh, those games are being played, and we'll post. Um, we'll post on the day, but if you see us on Steam or whatnot, we'll probably tell you that we're we're casting those matches. So until then, that's it for us for this week for um, Black Ops casting and. Thank you once again, Maverick and Mitch and Marvel. Thank you very much to both Impervious and Auxiliary for letting us jump in and um, stream your game and the admins. And we'll catch everyone, uh, I hope, next week. So thank you very much, and we'll see everyone later. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity tonight. And it's always good casting alongside Maverick and uh, Mitch. Our discussions.